Hi, thank you so much for joining me and us for class today. Today's class is being filmed on the last day of February 2020's retreat here at the Costa Rica Yoga Spa. And um, we've had a wonderful week and we're gonna end with a 60 minute, um, a little of everything class. We're gonna be focusing a little more on twists moving into revolved uh, hand to foot pose. And uh, if you have not already, please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. I hope to see you on a retreat today in this beautiful location here in Nosara, Costa Rica. All right, so let's go ahead and start in a seated position. Come into any comfortable seat. Easy pose, half lotus, full lotus, or you can stay in rock position if you want. Place your hands on your knees, either face down or face up. Find a nice, long, tall spine, reaching through the crown of your head, grounding through your sitting bones, and settling in here as we begin to move deeper into the breath, Start, starting with a cleansing breath. Breathe in through your nose. Big open mouth exhale. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Take five more deep ujjayi breaths here. Continuing to lengthen and deepen your inhales and your exhales. Take a deep breath in, lengthen through the crown of your head. As you exhale, come into neck rolls, bringing either ear toward your shoulder, chin to your chest, coming either halfway or all the way around. And pause when you come back to center and reverse directions if you're in full neck rolls or just continue to Rock back and forth in your half neck rolls. And then come back to a neutral spine. On your next breath in, reach your arms up overhead and come off to the left for a side bend, taking your left hand or your left forearm down to the mat and reaching your right arm up and across, keeping your shoulder in line with your hips. Deep breathing. Breathe in, come back to center. Breathe out, switch sides, taking your right hand or forearm down to your mat, reaching your left arm up and across, keeping your shoulder in line with your hip as you reach your fingertips, actively engaging your arm. Breathe in, come back to center, both arms up overhead and twist, right hand to left knee, left hand out behind. Breathe in to lengthen your spine. Exhale to deepen your twist. Big breath in, both arms up overhead. Exhale, twist to the opposite side, left hand to right knee. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, deepen your twist. Breathe in, both arms up overhead. Exhale, just place your hands, spider fingers up right behind your hips. Lift your chin, open your chest, roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. Come back to center, switch the cross of your legs. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, inhale, chest expansion, exhale, forward fold. Mm -hmm. 
all the way back up. Release your hands, come into tabletop position. <coughs> Start to move through some cats and cows. Inhale, drop your belly, lift the crown of your head and your tailbone. Exhale, round cat pose. Two more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, wherever you're at. Make your way back to tabletop. Walk your hands to the right. Just bump your hips to the left and start to peek out toward your right foot. Side stretch on your left side. Come back to center. Walk your hands to the left. Bump your hips to the right. Look toward your left foot. Come back to center. Extend your right arm long. Left leg back. Spinal balance. Squeeze your right bicep by your ear. Breathe in. Exhale one time. Elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. And then exhale, bring your left hand to your right, or your right hand to your left foot for swan pose. Kick your foot into your hand. Come back to spinal balance. Bring your right arm to the right, your left leg to the left. Set your left foot down on the floor. Bring your right hand back underneath your shoulder. Tuck your right toes under and bring your hip to your heel, walking your hands forward. Stretching your inner thigh, your right toes, ankle, inner thigh. Come back to tabletop position and switch sides. So bring your left arm forward and your right leg back for spinal balance. One time, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Bring your right leg to the right, your left arm to the left. And come back to spinal balance. Bend your back leg, take hold of your foot from the inside. Kick your foot into your hand for swan pose. Come back to spinal balance. And then set your hand down, bring your right foot to the right. Tuck your left toes under, bring your hip to your heel and rest your forehead down on the floor. Come back to tabletop position and then make your way to downward facing dog. And take any movements here in downward facing dog. So you continue to warm up the backs of your legs, feel some heat in your shoulders, spread your fingers nice and wide, look back toward the back of your mat, relaxing the back of your neck. Take one more deep inhale and exhale. Look toward the front of your mat, walk all the way forward, come into ragdoll. Bend your legs a lot. Rest your torso on your thighs, take opposite hand to opposite elbow. Maybe bend and straighten one leg at a time. Maybe sway side to side.
Take one more breath here. Exhale, release your arms down toward the mat. And then make your way up to standing, rolling nice and slow. And then come into mountain pose, peek down at your toes, lift all of your toes up and take pinky finger all or uh, pinky toe all the way to big toe, spreading them nice and wide, finding contact with your mat. Feel your heels on the ground, engage your quads, engage your core, roll your shoulders down and away from your ears, palms face out, fingers face down, triceps nice and engaged. Take a deep breath in. Big open mouth exhale. Inhale, bring both arms up overhead and twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. Try to keep your hips squared to the front. Use your core for the twist. Maybe peek back at your back thumb. Inhale, both arms up overhead and switch sides. Left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, tall mountain, reach up, active fingers. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold, coming all the way down. Hold Uttanasana, stretching the backs of your legs, your hamstrings, your calves. You can take hold of your ankles. You can set your hands on the floor or blocks. You can take peace fingers around your big toes and just get a little bit deeper. Just keep all tension out of your neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and pause. Take your right hand to the floor or a block and lift your left arm straight up so you're in a twist. Same thing, keep your hips as level as you can. Another breath in. Exhale, release, standing forward fold. <clears throat> Extend your right arm high, keep your hips level, use your core, tighten up. Exhale, standing forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, standing forward fold. Step back to high plank pose. Lower all the way down. <clears throat> Bring your hands a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. Come up onto your spider fingers. So just the pads of your fingers. Inhale, lift up as high as you want. Keep your feet flat to the floor. Breathe in here. Exhale, lower your left shoulder down. Inhale, come back to center. Lower your right shoulder down. Come back to center. Stay as high as you can. Lift both hands up off the floor so you're in cobra. Lift your feet up off the floor. And then make your way back to child's pose. So bring your knees wide, toes to touch. And just press back, lower, <clears throat> lower down, forehead on your mat. Make your way back to downward facing dog. toward the front of your mat, step walker float forward. <clears throat> Exhale to standing forward fold. Inhale chair pose. Exhale twisting chair to the left. Hold here for 
One inhale, one exhale. Back to center chair, exhale, twist to the right. One inhale and exhale. Inhale back to center, exhale, airplane, your arms, keep your heels down. Inhale, tall mountain, exhale, cactus, tall mountain, and standing forward fold as you breathe out. <clears throat> Halfway lift, forward fold. Step back to a high plank pose and hold for three, two, one. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, open your hip, bend your leg. Take some circles of your foot in both directions. And switch directions. Level your hips, straighten your leg. One time, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Set your back knee down on the floor. Inhale, crescent moon. Lift your arms up overhead. Arrow mudra with your hands. Squeeze your biceps by your ears. Breathe in here. Exhale, side bend to the left. <clears throat> Inhale back to center. Side bend to the right. Inhale back to center. Bring your hands to prayer. Cross your thumbs, bring the, your thumbs to the back of your head. Lift up for a little upper back bend. Come back to center. You can uncross your thumbs, bring your hands to your heart and twist. Left elbow, right knee. Press the palms of your hands together. Twist a little bit deeper as you press against your knee. Trying to make contact, sacrum to thumbs. Inhale back to center, lift your arms up overhead. Exhale, half splits. Make your way back to low lunge. Step back, high plank, lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And all the way back to downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up, open your hip and bend your leg on this side. Take some circles of your foot in both directions, stretching out your ankle. Level your hips, straighten your leg. One time, knee to nose. Three-legged dog. And step forward, low lunge. Place your back knee down on the floor. Inhale, crescent moon. Bring both arms up overhead. Arrow mudra. Squeeze your biceps toward your ears. Inhale, exhale, side bend to the right. Come back to center, side bend to the left. Come back to center, bring your hands to prayer. Take the opposite cross of your thumbs. Take your thumbs to the back of your head, lift your elbows up, look up, lift your chest. Bring your hands straight up overhead, uncross your thumbs and then twist 
right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Use your breath to rotate you into the twist. So each exhale, contract your core, go a little bit deeper. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Exhale, half splits pose. So extend your left leg long. Fold over your left leg. You can keep your hip over your heel or you can sit back on your heel. Make your way back to low lunge, step back high plank, lower chaturanga, press up upward facing dog, and press back downward facing dog. <clears throat> Take three deep ujjayi breaths here in preparation for sun salutations. Ramp up your breath. Look forward to the front of your mat. Step walk or float. Exhale, standing forward fold. Tall mountain as you breathe in, reach up. Standing forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, standing forward fold. Step back, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga or to the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Look to the front of your mat. Step walk or float forward. Forward fold. Breathe in, tall mountain. Exhale, standing forward fold. Halfway lift. Your out breath is high to low plank, chaturanga or your choice. Upward facing dog, inhale. Back to down dog, exhale. Breathe in and out. Inhale, look to the front of your mat, come forward. Exhale, standing forward fold. Tall mountain, rise up, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. High to low, breathe out. Back to up dog and down dog on your in and out breath. Breathe in and out. Come forward on your next breath in. Forward fold as you breathe out. Tall mountain inhale. Standing forward fold on your exhale. Breathe in, lengthen your spine. Breathe out, forward fold. High plank to low plank. Up dog to down dog. Breathe in and out. Last one on your own, at your own pace, with your own breath. Three breaths here. <clears throat> Come back.
complete your exhale. On your next inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, bring your right knee to your left elbow. Twist, squeeze, three-legged dog. Two more times, twist, squeeze. Last time. Low lunge, as you breathe out, lower your back knee down to the floor. Toes tucked or flat, whatever your choice is. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Grounded twist, so bring your left arm forward and your right arm back. And then take your right hand to your left leg, if you can, just kind of reaching in that direction. And then reverse. So the side bend and a twist at the same time. Complete your exhale. Inhale, lift both arms up overhead. And then exhale, low lunge. So tuck your toes, lift your knee. Breathe in, crescent lunge. And breathe out, warrior two. Hold here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Hand to your thigh, shin, block, floor, ankle. Lift your left arm up. Just most importantly, keeping your chest open to the side, your hip open to the side, your core engaged. Deep breathing. Okay, breathe in here. Exhale, bring your left hand to the floor. Come into reverse or revolved triangle. So reach your right arm up. Good. Breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. So take both hands to the floor, lift your heel, bend your leg, high plank, inhale. Low plank, exhale, up dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Okay, left side, lift your left leg up, breathe in, left knee to right elbow, crunch and twist three times, breathe in, exhale, tap, inhale, lengthen, exhale, Touch knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, low lunge. Place your back knee down on the floor for a grounded lunge. Breathe in, both arms up overhead and grounded twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. Bring your left hand to your right hamstring, so the back of your leg. Reach your right arm up. Breathe in, exhale, low lunge. Place your hands on the floor, tuck your toes, lift your knee, come all the way up, crescent lunge on your inhale breath, and then warrior two on your exhale breath. Hold here. Inhale, reverse triangle, so straighten your front leg, up and back in preparation for trikonasana, bringing your left hand to thigh, shin, ankle, floor, block, reaching your right arm up, opening your shoulder, opening your hip, using your core. Breathe in. And exhale, lower your right hand to the floor, or gin or block, and then lift your left arm up. So revolved triangle. Breathe in, exhale, release low lunge. Make your way back to downward facing dog.
On your next inhale, lift your right leg up. Step forward to low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge and pause. Exhale, eagle arms, right arm underneath, left. Working to bring the palms of your hands together. If not, you can always wrap them around your shoulder. From here, just begin to lift your elbows a little bit up. Maybe look up if you want to challenge your balance. Mini back bend, a big stretch for your upper back and your shoulders. Unwind, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star. Exhale, squat, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Now place your hands on your knees, thumbs face in, breathe in to lengthen. Exhale, look to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, look to the left. Inhale, back to center, bring your hands to your heart, bring your shoulders right up over your hips. Breathe in, five-pointed star. Exhale, standing straddle splits, heels behind your toes, come all the way down, hinging from your hips, hold here. Feeling the stretch in the back of your legs, the entire length of your spine. Letting your head be heavy so you get a nice stretch in the back of your neck. So looking back between your legs. On your next breath in, come up to a halfway lift. Pause here, take your right hand right below your face. You can spider finger or you can place your palm flat on the floor on a block. Try to keep your hips level. You can even feel up on your sacrum with your hand. So try to keep your hips right where they are and then just use your core to lift your right arm up. Breathe in. And exhale, bring your right hand down right underneath your face, so more to center. And then lift your left arm up, trying to keep your hips level, using your core to make this twist happen. You can keep your gaze floor off to the side or up toward your thumb. Just keep your head in line with your spine so you're not straining at all. Breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Really, really tighten up your quads so you don't strain your hamstrings. Take a minute bend in your knees and then sweep your arms off to capital T. So nice long spine looking down at the floor. Breathe in, exhale, left hand to the floor, right hand up and come back to center. Switch sides, come back to center. Bring your arms straight out in front so your palms face each other. And then exhale, standing straddle splits. And then come up to a halfway lift. Side lunge to the front of your mat. You can Play with bringing your hands to your heart, or you can keep them on the floor for support. Bring your left arm to the inside of your left leg, hand to the floor, and reach your right arm up. Side lunge twist. And then circle your arm in front of you and come to the back of your mat. Bring your right hand to the floor, to the inside of your right leg, and lift your left arm up. Mm -hmm. 
exhale, bring your left arm down and rotate to low lunge at the back of your mat. And then make your way to lounging lizard. So take your left hand onto the floor, roll onto the outer edge of your right foot, the outer edge of your left foot, and then reach back. Look back toward your thumb, feel the stretch in your side. And then come all the way back to low lunge. Come to standing splits. Look back toward the back of your mat. One squat here. Breathe in standing splits. And come to standing staff. So bringing your right leg through, reaching your arms up, maybe straightening your leg, and then exhale, low lunge. Kind of moving through a little mini airplane, floating your foot back, placing your hands on the floor, stepping back, low lunge, high plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Same leg, this is your right leg. Three-legged dog, low lunge, crescent lunge, warrior two, star, warrior two to the front of your mat, reverse warrior, low lunge, Make your way back to downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your left leg up. Three-legged dog, big step forward, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, eagle arms, left arm underneath right. Work toward getting the palms of your hands to touch. Maybe taking opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Stay low in your front leg. Lift your elbows up so you feel that stretch in your upper back. And then mini back bend here. You can just start to look up, maybe lift up. Unwind, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, prayer squat. Star. Goddess. Star. Sun god, arms parallel, palms face up, squat down. Star. Moon God, elbows in, palms face out. Squeeze your shoulder blades, inhale, star. Exhale, standing straddle splits. Come all the way down. <clears throat> Walk your hands a couple steps forward. Wide-legged down dog, press back. Look back, feel the stretch in your shoulders. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs and your hamstrings. Walk your hands back so they're underneath your shoulders. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine, reach through the crown of your head. Exhale, side lunge to the front of your mat. So if you wanna try a bind or a half bind here, you'll take your left arm around your left leg, reach your right arm up and over to clasp your hands. Or you can take that twist again, or you can take a half bind, reaching your right arm toward your left hip. And then side lunge to the back of your mat. <clears throat> reach your right arm up, you can bind wrapping your arms around your right knee, or you can take a half bind, reaching up for that twist and taking your left hand toward your right hip.
And then take a low lunge to the front of your mat. Standing splits. Step onto your left foot, lift your right leg up, breathe in. One squat. Standing splits. Exhale here. Standing staff. Bring your leg through. Reach your arms up. You can keep your leg bent or you can begin to straighten it, activating your quad, the top of your right leg. And then float your foot back to low lunge. Kind of like you're going through a mini airplane. Big step back. Lounging lizard. Take your left toes to the left. Reach your left hand back. Make your way back to low lunge. High plank all the way back to downward facing dog. Look toward your hand, step walk or float through to a seat. And then just make your way into boat pose. Try to keep your chest lifted and your spine right where it is and then just separate your legs, maybe like happy baby, maybe like straddle. Bring your hands to arrow mudra, and then you're just gonna start to lower and lift, little mini pulses. Halfway there, four, three, Two, one. Now hug your knees into your chest, place your feet flat to the floor, roll down onto your back. For a hip flexor release, place your hands alongside your body, palms face down, and just roll up to bridge. Then roll down. Inhale up. Exhale, lower down. Last time, roll up and down. Loose grip on your knees, hug them in toward your chest and then rock and roll. Three, two, after your last one, come back to boat for three, two, one, now you're gonna take your left shin down on the floor, cross your right ankle into your left hip, sit up nice and tall and we'll take half lotus twist. So breathe in, lift your arms up overhead, breathe out, twist, left hand to right knee. Breathe in, both arms up overhead, breathe out, switch sides. Keep your left leg right where it is. Take your peace fingers, wrap them around your right big toe. Take your hand either to the floor for support or to your hip and start to extend your right leg out in front of you. We're working toward our final standing balancing postures. So just envision yourself doing this on, standing on your left foot. All right, bring both knees into your chest. Take one roll along the length of your spine. Step walk or float back. High plank to low plank. Mm -hmm. 
Lift your left leg high. Step forward, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, one squat. Standing splits. Exhale, come down to a seat. Bring both feet out in front of you. Come back to boat. Now take both peace fingers around both big toes. Extend your legs long. Lower your shoulders down away from your ears. And then make your way to upward angle so you can separate your legs into a straddle. Continue to lift your chest and lower your shoulders. Bring your right shin down to the floor. Bring your left foot to your right hip. Breathe in, both arms up overhead. Exhale, twist, right hand, left knee. Lengthen, inhale, deepen your twist, exhale. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Take your left piece fingers around your left big toe, either right hand to your hip or right hand to the floor for balance support. You're just gonna lift your left leg up you can hold here, or maybe extend it. And just visualize yourself standing on your right foot, holding this posture. Bring both knees loosely into your chest. Take one roll the length of your spine. If you wanna try a little Chaturanga, jump back. You can place your hands, jump back, land with bent arms. Come to up dog and make your way all the way back to downward facing dog. Three deep breaths here. Complete this exhale. Lift your right leg up. Step forward, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vertical twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Squeeze your inner thighs like they're touching. Use your core, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Big breath in, reverse your warrior, nice side bend. Exhale, extended side angle. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale, reverse triangle. So straighten your front leg, reach up and back, and this time half moon. Exhale, step onto your right foot, hand to a block, the floor, your shin, maybe even float it. Breathe in. Exhale, level your hips, take your left hand to the floor, block, and then reach your right arm up, keeping your hips level. On your next exhale, bring your right hand down toward the floor so that you're in standing splits. Inhale, staff pose. And then exhale, airplane pose. So hold an airplane as you reach your left leg back, balance on your right leg, reach your hands back. Breathe in and exhale, low lunge. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale, lift your left leg high. Step forward, low lunge. 
Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vertical twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse warrior as you breathe in, side angle as you breathe out. Complete your exhale. Breathe in, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg. Reach your left arm up, side bend as you slide your right hand down your back leg in preparation for half moon pose. So take a little bend to your left leg, pop off your right leg, open up to the side, reach your right arm up, roll your right hip open. Breathe in. Exhale, level your hips, take your right hand to the floor or a block. Lift your left arm up, revolved half moon. Inhale, exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, crescent lunge. Breathe out, airplane pose. Balancing on your left foot, extending your right leg out behind you reaching your fingertips toward the back of your mat. Inhale here. Exhale, float back, low lunge. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Right leg lifts as you breathe in. As you breathe out, bring your knee toward your nose and step your foot between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vertical twist. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, half moon. Inhale here. Exhale, left hand to the floor, left hip in line with right. Breathe in, revolved half moon, bend your left leg, take hold of your left foot with your right hand and come into revolved dancer. So you're gonna stand onto your right foot, bring your left foot with you, lift your left arm up, kick your foot into your hand, Release to standing staff. Exhale, standing pigeon. Okay, big toe hold. So bring your right hand to your right hip, your left piece fingers around your left big toe. Bring your foot with you as you stand up. And then maybe extend your left leg forward. Maybe off to the side. Right hand can counterbalance coming off to the side. And then come back to standing staff and exhale to low lunge and make your way back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Lift your left leg up, big step forward, low lunge. As you breathe in, rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, vertical twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, half moon. Breathe in. Exhale, left hand to the floor, level your hips. Inhale, right arm up, revolved half moon. Now bend your left leg, take your right foot, take hold of your left foot with your right hand and begin to stand up. 
Lift your left arm up. Once you have your balance, kick your left foot into your right hand for revolved dancer pose. And then make your way to standing staff as you release, reach your arms up, bring your leg, left leg forward, maybe straighten it and then come into half pigeon or standing pigeon pose. So bring your hands to your heart, sink down, stretching your hips, strengthening your standing leg. Take your left peace fingers around your left big toe, your right hand to your right hip. Bring your left foot with you as you come up to a stand and then maybe straighten your leg from here. Option to bring it off to the side, counterbalance with your right arm to the right. And make your way back to center, release and float your foot back, low lunge. All the way back, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up as you breathe in. Step forward as you breathe out. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, vertical twist. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star. Warrior two to the back of your mat. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, half moon. Inhale, exhale, lower your right hand to the floor, level your hips. Inhale, left arm up, revolved half moon. And this time, exhale, bring your hand and your foot, hand to the floor, foot to meet, right foot to meet left. Chair pose, inhale. Exhale, twisting chair, right, left elbow to right knee. Inhale to center. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale to center, exhale airplane chair, reach your arms back, inhale chair, exhale balance chair, inhale standing staff, lift your right leg up, bring your right hand to the outer edge, so flip it over, bring it to the outer edge of your, your left hand, sorry, to the outer edge of your right foot. So we're going to come revolved hand to foot pose. There you go. All right, and from here, you can begin to extend your leg long, or you can just hold it, and then reach your right arm back. Okay, so as you release, you're just gonna float back to low lunge. So see if you can really slowly float your right foot back, place your hands down on the floor, Keep your toes tucked, and then make your way back to downward facing dog. Same leg, lift your right leg up, step forward, right leg. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Crescent. Warrior two, star, warrior two, Reverse warrior, low lunge, down dog. Inhale, left leg high, exhale, low lunge, crescent. Vertical twist, crescent, warrior two, star, warrior two to the back, reverse triangle, half moon.
Inhale. Exhale. Lower your left hand, level your hips. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, release. Inhale, staff. Now bring your left hand to your left hip, your right hand, flip it so your thumb is underneath. Take hold of the outer edge of your left foot for revolved hand to foot pose. You can start to extend your left leg along, maybe reach your left arm back, maybe look back. Okay, so release, float to low lunge. And back to down dog. Same leg, lift your left leg up, step forward, low lunge, crescent lunge, warrior two, star, warrior two, reverse warrior, low lunge, make your way back to down dog and then to child's pose. And take a sip of water. Continue, continue to listen to the sound of your breath as it goes in and out through your nose. Feel the beating of your heart. Feel the warmth of your skin. Come back to downward facing dog. Look toward your hands, step walker float all the way to Malasana. <laughs> Not seated yet. <laughs> Lower your hips, bring your elbows toward your knees, bring your hands to your heart, reach through the crown of your head, find a steady place to gaze. You can close your eyes, deep breathing. Relaxing your hips and your low back, releasing your low back. Two more breaths here. Exhale. Bring your hands to the earth, your mat, and then heel toe your feet toward one another. We're coming into Bakasana Crow Pose. Place your hands at shoulder distance apart. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Bring your knees up to the backs of your arms. Maybe lift one, two, or all 10 toes up off the floor to float for five, four, three, two, one, now you can jump back to Chaturanga, very nice. Up dog to down dog, you can just step back. Lift your right leg up, half pigeon on your right side. I'm gonna do three variations of half pigeon. So 
Inhale to lengthen your spine and we'll start with sleeping pigeon. So just release your hands to your, or sorry, your forehead toward your hands or a block or the floor. You can stay here or you can move into mermaid. So for mermaid, you'd come back up onto your hands, bend your back leg, reach your left hand for the inside of your foot and start to draw your heel in, bring your toes toward your elbow crease, palm faces up, and then you can bind your hands and look toward the front of your mat. Okay, and you can stay here or you can take the chest expansion. So you would take your left hand to the outside of your left ankle, right hand to the inside, flex your foot back, and then just kick back, expand your chest and shoulders, maybe lift your chin off of your chest. Gently release your left foot, left leg to the ground, and then bring your right knee or your left knee toward your right heel. Take your right hand out behind you. Lift your left arm up, lift your hips. Maybe look back. Breathe in. Exhale to release. And then make your way back to down dog. We're just coming on into half pigeon on the other side. So you can even just switch legs. Whatever feels good to you, if you need to shake it out, walk it out. And then when you're ready, you can take your left leg forward for half pigeon on the other side. Inhale to lengthen your spine, exhale to release. You can stay here or move into mermaid pose. So for mermaid pose, you would bend your back leg, your right leg, reach your right arm around. Take hold of the inside of your right foot and then start to bring it into your elbow crease. Reach your arms up and over for the clasp. Then you can look toward the front of your mat. And then for the chest expansion, take your right hand and bring it around the outer edge of your right foot and reach your left arm back and then flex your foot back. Beautiful. And then release your right foot to the floor and then bring your right knee toward your left heel. Bring your left hand out behind you. Lift your right arm up, lift your hips, look up, maybe look back. Yeah, 
and release. Bring both legs straight out in front of you for seated forward fold. Ground down through your sitting bones. Sit up nice and tall through the crown of your head. Reach your arms up overhead as you breathe in. And then exhale, fold over both of your legs. Release from your fold, bend both legs, take both feet flat to the floor. Take your hands right behind and outside of your hips, fingers pointing toward your heels. Inhale, reverse tabletop, align your knees right over your ankles, your shoulders right over your wrists and lift your hips. Inhale, lift higher. Exhale, come to a seat. Bring the soles of your feet together for butterfly pose. Take your hands around your ankles. Lower your shoulders away from your ears. And then hinge forward, bringing your elbows toward your knees. Looking out past your toes. Continue to practice your deep breathing. If you're folded forward, come all the way back up. Take your feet flat to the floor. Bring your arms straight out in front of you and just lower down onto your back. Bring your knees to about a 90 degree angle. Bring your arms straight out to capital T, palms face down. Breathe in. Exhale, bring your knees to the left. Set them down. Maybe take your left hand onto your right knee. Try to press your right shoulder down toward the mat. Come back to center. Release your knees to the right. Set them down on the floor. Bring your right hand toward your left, on top of your left knee. That feels good. Maybe look to the left. Come back to center. Separate your knees and feet for happy baby pose. Rock side to side. Maybe bending and straightening one leg at a time. Or just pulling gently on your feet or your th thighs to bring your legs a little bit closer toward the floor. And just hug your knees into your chest. Take your hands around your knees. Bring your forehead up toward your knees. Squeeze in tight. Maybe tap forehead to knees. Big breath in. Exhale, release to Shavasana. If there's any other postures you'd like, take them now. Bring your legs long. Feet fall open. Arms stretched out, palms facing up, fingers relaxed. Feel the weight of your entire body on your mat. Take a deep breath in. Big open mouth exhale. Let go of your breathing practice and just come into the natural rhythm of your breath.
begin to deepen your breath and bring movement back into your body. You can wiggle your fingers and your toes. And start to move your feet and your hands, rolling out your wrists and your ankles. Stretch your arms up overhead, extend your legs long. Big breath in and roll off to your side. Take this last moment here in gratitude for this time and this space, this amazing week we've had together. Your new friends. Your amazing strong body that did three yoga practices a day and hikes and surfing and everything else we did. What an adventure. So be grateful that you have a strong, healthy body that brought you here today. And then press your way all the way up to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. We'll close together with one ohm. Breathe in. Big exhale. Breathe in for ohm. As you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. From my heart to each and every one of yours, namaste.